Glory, mercy, and honor. It all belongs unto our God. I thank God that you're here. When you really want to know the truth about him, the Lord God, he will place someone in your life. And if the truth is what you're looking for and what you've been searching for for quite some time, God has brought you here for that purpose. The Lord, he exposes false teachers and false preachers and false leaders. By their fruit, Jesus said, you shall know them. Matthew 7 and 16. When you read Ephesians chapter 4, when false leaders teach and preach and practice and believe the things in which they're saying, then so many times you find that they will offset the mind of those that are listening. And there are so many ways to God, they say. But Jesus says in John chapter 10, I am the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the light. And then you find in John 14 and 6, the Lord, he says the same thing. If you try to come up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. And we cannot find an entrance to God's kingdom by being thieves and robbers. When men say that there is more than one body, they're really saying there is more than one church because the church and the body is one of the same thing. You read Ephesians chapter 1, verses 22 and 23. And then the Bible tells us there is one spirit. All of this is found in Ephesians chapter 4. But men say that there is more than one. And you're talking by the spirit of authority by which God has given. Then they say there is more than one Lord. There is the only Lord God and he's ruler and maker of all things. Then you meet people, they talk about their faith. And they ask you the question, what faith are you? If we're all of the same faith, there is but one faith. And it is called the unity of God in worship. We worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And that's the unity by which believers are found. And he talks about there is one baptism. And that baptism is only in water. God has provided it for us. And then there is one hope by which we're called. We're all called by the gospel. The gospel called all of us. 2 Thessalonians 2.14 We have all been called by the gospel. And God there is one God and Father of all who's above all, through all, and in us all. Most people will admit that there is one God, but they will not admit that there is one faith and one church and one way. They will talk about all the different ways of baptism, but the Bible says there is but one. That is told in Christianity. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, at verse number 13, Paul, he asked the question to the church as this, is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Were you baptized in the name of Paul? And people are doing the same thing even today. If Paul would come in this world, he would ask the same question. Is Christ divided? Was I crucified for you? Were you baptized in my name? People, let's be honest. If salvation is what we're looking for, which church do you believe that the Lord had built? You read Acts 2, 47, praising God, having favor with all the people, and the Lord added unto the church daily such as should be saved. Which church do you believe that was? Out of all the multiplicity of churches that are in this world today, there was one church then, there is one church now. 1 Corinthians 12 and 20, for there are many members, yet but one body. We must honestly contend for the faith. That's what Jude said. Read the book of Jude. And we must honestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the...